How's it going everyone and welcome back to another video. Today, I want to talk about my holiday gift guide when it comes to tech. So, I'm going to separate these videos into three separate videos. We're going to have like the triple money, which is like the big money, expensive stuff. And the reason I'm doing this one first is because Black Friday is this week and Cyber Monday is like right around the corner as well. So if you can find some of these deals on these products, then this would be a good steal. And then the other ones are gonna be like more budget friendly. So if you don't find a deal at the time I post it, honestly no big deal because they're already pretty you know, low key budget stuff. So I'm gonna try my best to you know stay to those uh, price ranges and whatnot. So this one, I don't even know what the price range is. This is just big money stuff. Like if you got money to spend and wanna like surprise your family or whatever, your girlfriend, your friend with a big gift and a big gesture, these are some of the things that you should consider. And also, these are things that I have. So things that I personally have used and I recommend. I'm not gonna recommend to you something that I haven't used or haven't tried out or tested out myself. Also, some of these, some of these can just be ideas. Like for example, I'm gonna recommend a monitor. You don't have to necessarily get the monitor I'd recommend, but maybe a monitor in that like similar spec range. So anyways, I'm getting like too ahead of myself. But for ado, let's talk about the first one. So the first product I'm going to talk about and recommend is a camera. So if any of you guys are looking to get into YouTube or into vlogging or into just, you know, home videos and picture taking just for fun, then I recommend a camera. I only have one camera that I've ever used in my life, and that's the Canon M6 Mark II. It's a pretty, very expensive uh, camera. I think it starts around, you know, normal price starts around $1,000 with like the kit lens and whatnot. But you can find this for around eight hundred dollars for the kit lens, if, if like with this this Black Friday deals. I saw it on Prime for eight hundred, and I think I saw it at Best Buy for like eight hundred or nine hundred. So you can find this at a decent price, uh, way lower than what I paid, which was like a thousand dollars. So the Canon M6 Mark II, I don't know much about. Honestly, I don't know anything about cameras. Honestly, I just use everything on auto. Like this is what I'm shooting on right now. So this is what you're gonna get when it comes to 4K. This is 4K 24 frames per second right now. And honestly, I love the camera. It's so tiny and I haven't changed the lens. I use the kit lens if you don't know. Um, I should really upgrade that. But right now I'm just sticking with the kit lens. It's the 15 to 45 millimeter. Uh, it's very kind of user friendly. It's more, it's supposed to be more for the professionals. Like kind of pro more like there's like the Canon M50 that you can use which is a, also a good camera for 1080p there's also 4k available on it but I know you can't just like a crop sensor and odd focus is lost I don't know but I just know that this is a great small compact mirrorless camera if you want for 4k it runs 4k 30 it has slow motion or 120 frames per second at 1080 um, it's such a good little camera in my opinion that i definitely recommend it for anyone out there looking to get into the camera you know game or get into youtube i use this for youtube and it works perfectly fine for me um, it has a flip out screen if you need that it's got a bunch of different modes a different bunch of programmable modes and again i just use this on auto settings i haven't messed around with the manual settings yet so i can't like pull it out and switch to manual and adjust whatever setting you need to adjust to it. So for me, for a beginner, for an amateur at cameras, this is good. This is pretty good. I like it. So the Canon N6 Mark II, definitely a good recommendation for anyone trying to get into the camera game or whatever. So Canon M6 Mark II, if not, the Canon M50 Mark II, I hear is also really good. Or Canon M50 Mark One, if you can find that. I mean, they're about the same price, but either the Canon M6 Mark II, I've used, I love it, recommend it. M6, the M50 Mark II, haven't used it, but it's very similar to the M6 Mark II, so definitely also recommend it. So sticking with cameras, this next one is a drone. So if any of you guys are looking out there for a drone or you know, someone who wants a drone, I recommend the DJI Mavic Mini series. So there's the DJI Mavic Mini 2 that just came out, I think a couple weeks ago, in late October. Get that one if you can. But if you can, get the DJI Mavic Mini. That's the one I personally have, and I've had that for about six months now. It's such a cool little drone. It's it's so unique because you can get different perspectives from like your regular, you know, on the ground type of shots. And these shots, I mean, obviously I don't incorporate these into my videos, but it's fun for like home videos. If you want to record like a scene, say you're on vacation for somewhere and you can record different stuff, like say you're on a mountain, on a hike, on the ocean or something, you can take advantage of that and get a nice perspective with your drone. And also this one is like under 250 grams, so you don't have to this is, you don't have to uh, sign it up for the, like the FAA stuff, which I didn't, so I don't, hopefully I don't get in trouble for not doing that as long, as pretty sure that's the, that's the rule, right? It has to be over 250 grams 
You have to register it. You have to get a license or whatnot. So that's why I got the Mavic Mini. It's a good recreational drone. So I definitely recommend it. You get good quality out of it. 2.7K, not quite 4K, but still good enough for me for home videos again. And you can also record 1080p at 60 frames per second. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I like the DJI Mavic Mini. But if you definitely can get the DJI Mavic Mini 2 on sale, get that one instead because I know it's a lot better as far as I think battery's the same, but like the the distance you can fly without losing connection using some quick sense 2.0, something like that, or I don't even know what it is, but it, I just know that it has a better transmission from the, between the controller and the uh, the actual drone, so you don't lose signal as far when you're distance-wise. Um, and I think it has stronger as far as like propellers go, so it's like it can handle the wind a little bit better, um, and it has 4K. So though, if you can get the Mavic Mini 2, Get that. If not, the Mavic Mini is a good choice. All right, so now that you got your cameras, your recording, and you want to watch your clips and edit stuff, which monitor do I recommend? Honestly, I'm not familiar with all the monitors out there, so I'm just personally going to recommend the one I have, and I love it. It's the LG GLA50. It is such a solid monitor. Believe me, I love it. It's 1440p. It's got 144 hertz, and it's an IPS display with one millisecond time of response time, whatever that means. Honestly, this thing is just beautiful. The colors look so nice on here. It's uh, apparently, uh, what's it called? G-Force, whatever, G-Sync compatible, but it doesn't, I don't care about that stuff, honestly. It just runs great for games. COD is amazing and responsive. It's so smooth. Call it Battlefield looks good as well. Um, it's just so many, it's so good. It's so good for gaming. I love it. I don't play games often, but when I do, it's so nice to have a good monitor to be able to play it on. But uh, also, it also looks good for videos. So YouTube, you can be able to watch those videos at 1440p or 4K. Uh, the Netflix looks good too, even though some of the Netflix shows are just 1080. It still looks really good on there. Uh, but yeah, it's a really good solid display. Not to mention, you can move this monitor up, down, pivot it, you know, rotate it 360 degrees. Like you can make this a slender, you know, a portrait mode type display, or keep it that, or keep it, you know, horizontal and then move it up and down and then. You know, tilt it, I guess, in like a tilt, tilt it towards you or tilt it down, whatever you like. You know, it's a, it's a good monitor to be able to tilt it around if you need that and be able to do that. So it's such a good monitor, honestly, in my opinion. It's really good. So if you can get this one on sale, get it. If not, try to find something similar to it, which is anything that's 1440p, 144 hertz, and then it's an IPS display. I prefer IPS. I don't know. Others might find it. Uh, other panels better but that's up to you guys so if you guys actually have any other suggestions as far as monitors go leave it down below and same thing with cameras and drones make sure to leave them down below any of your recommendations as well because this is my personal tech guide and other people might have other ideas so feel free to let me know so sticking with the theme and monitor i like how i'm backing these up back to back like they're similar kind of so this is the samsung galaxy tab s7 plus I recommend it. I think it's a good tablet. I know there's been a lot of like complaints about the green screen and then complaints about the battery life being poor, um, but it's still a good tablet in my opinion. And if you can get this thing on sale for like less than $500, get it. Seriously, get it. You're not going to regret it. This thing is amazing. I use mine on the daily, but like, I'm, it's just a, such a good tablet. It's spray. It's responsive. It's smooth. I had the base model for with six gigabytes of RAM, and after using it for what's it, two months now, it's still smothery smooth. It's still responsive. It's still really fast. It's great. It's great for watching videos. Great for taking notes for school, and just great for content consumption in general for social media, for Google searching, for YouTube, for everything. It's perfect. Honestly, I use my tablet at home, and then use my phone when I'm out. So, yeah, it's a great tablet. I definitely recommend it. If you haven't bought it yet and want it on sale definitely get it right, so for this last one i recommend a smartwatch and personally i'm recommending the galaxy watch 3 if you have an android device if you have an iphone consider the iphone's smartwatch which is like the s series se or the series 6 whichever one you can find on sale for the cheapest price you can get that one because uh, it'll be a great companion for your phone because this thing is so useful it's Useful for notifications, useful for answering calls, useful for you know, health and fitness. It's such a good little watch that I recommend anyone who has a smartphone get a smartwatch, in my opinion, whether it be one of these or whether it be like a different branded one. Because sometimes there's some that are like oriented towards like better fitness or some that are oriented towards like better bulkiness and heavy duty type of stuff. So definitely get into our smartwatch as a gift because this is a good gift, in my opinion. A really good gift. Another good gift is protecting your privacy. So, 
I recommend IVC. IVC is a VPN service that allows you to protect yourself when you're on the internet, you know, hiding your location and making it look like you're somewhere else, and also allowing you to unblock and unlock all different kind of things on the internet, including Netflix. So that's what I use it for primarily is unlocking Netflix. I can access a bunch of different libraries from a bunch of different countries, and it's so sweet because I can watch different movies, different shows that aren't available on the US Netflix and are available on a different country's Netflix, which is fantastic in my opinion. So Right now, I'm pretty sure they're having a Black Friday sale. Go ahead, check it out down below. This is an affiliate link, so I will be you know, helping me out here on the channel if you use that link. But otherwise, feel free to check it out. Again, down below, IBC. All right, so those are my recommendations. I know that these are very expensive, but the reason I did them is because you can probably find these on sale during this weekend on Black Friday or Cyber Monday. So that's why I gave you guys the more expensive ones first. And then later on next week and the following week, I'll do more budget friendly videos because I know that a lot of us need to save money during these times, especially myself. So anyways, if you guys have your own recommendations, leave them down below. Like if you think of whatever you recommend is way better than what I'm recommending, feel free to fight me on it. I won't fight you back. I just, I, I'm doing this to help you guys get your step in the right direction too. It's like maybe you don't know what to get someone who loves tech a gift and you watch this and you're like, oh, maybe I should get him a camera or maybe I should get him a drone. Or maybe I should get him a tablet. You know, this just things that help you guys, you know, figure out what to give for this holidays coming around while also trying to hopefully save some money. So anyways, that's been it. Hope you guys enjoyed and peace out.